In this morning's Health Watch, Transforming Your Health, Dr. Travis Stork, host of The Doctors, explains some easy ways to do just that in his new book, The Doctor Is In. After all these years, no one's taken that title before? How interesting. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> It's a natural. Someone had to, right? Yeah. One of the things people may not be aware of as they see you on television, and the show has turned out to be such a big hit, you're an ER. You have spent, you have done your dues in the ER. Right. And as people get patched up and stuff, sometimes they say to you, what should I have done differently? And what do you tell them? Well, that's the problem. By the time people come to the ER, it's often too late. Right. And so there's so much misinformation out there. By the time... Say someone comes to the ER, they've had their first heart attack. They always ask, what could I have done differently? Right. And what I'm trying to do on the doctors, what I'm trying to do with the book, The Doctors, is teach people how to prevent illness before it happens. Right. Because you don't want to spend your life in and out of the hospital. Yeah. I go there for work, but I don't like to go there in my free time. <laughs> Not in your I free time. You that. Right. By choice. One of the things you suggest in the book is to become your own health guru. What does that mean? Well, people expect I can go to the doctor. A year later, I can go back to the doctor. They don't realize that that year in between doctor's visits, mm -hmm. that's when you have your health in your own hands. Right. But there is, there's so much misinformation out there. I see it when people come to the ER. I see it on our show, The Doctors. Right. So what I've tried to do in this book is think back 20 years ago. I didn't know a thing about health. Sure. So this is really the Cliff Notes version. Okay. Of all the things you need to know about health so you can become what I call the CEO of your own health. I like it. I yeah, like it. You know, it's you your, be the it's, CEO it's your or health. something. You should be the CEO. That's right. So you have sources, though, that you think are particularly suited, well suited, for people like me to go and, and get in touch with the information that's most helpful. What are they? Well, there are so many websites out there. Yeah. And some of them are great, some of them not so great. Right. So as a doctor, I'll go to places like pubmed.gov. Mm -hmm. But you can go to Medline Plus, you can go to AmericanHeart.org, you can go to Diabetes.org. If you go to these websites versus websites maybe trying to sell you something, mm. you know the information is legitimate. These are government-sponsored, right. NIH-sponsored sites. People will come to me and say, hey, Dr. Stork, I read this on the web. Yeah. But if they got it from the wrong source, it could be putting their health in jeopardy. Big time. Uh, one of the other suggestions in the book is you give your body a daily vacation. That makes you smile. What does that mean? I don't understand. Well, what does that mean exactly? It, it means that don't think about it as exercise. Right. You know what? View your sneakers as something that's going to put a smile on your face. Because let's face it, a lot of intimidating workouts out there. Mm -hmm. we, we don't know what's right for us. But sometimes the best workout for you is right. a pair of sneakers mm -hmm. after a healthy dinner, a brisk 30-minute walk with your spouse, have a smile on your face. That's a vacation. That's not exercise. Right. It really is a great escape. I know every day that I get off of my bike, I am like the happiest guy on the planet. I mean, you get the endorphins and everything else. It's the best thing out there. Yeah, and admittedly, sometimes it's hard to take yourself mm -hmm. off the couch and go do it. And, and that's where it's this cycle. I talk about in the book, Eat to Save Her Life, because one of the things when I sit down for a meal, I ask myself, is this delicious? Because it has to taste good. Right. Is it healthy? Right. Because they can be both. And then... How will I feel in 30 minutes? <laughs> and will a steady diet of this for 10 years allow me to be healthy? Because I don't want to spend my life sitting on the couch, and I don't want my patients to either. Right. And it's really about eating healthy so that you can get off the couch, right. go for those, those walks with your spouse, with sure. your kids. Because it does, like you said, whether it's the bike, whether it's swimming, mm -hmm. whatever it is, dancing, it does put a smile on your face. Right. But it's easy to get away from it. One of the other things that becomes complicated is there's so much stress in our life with mm -hmm. kids and schools and jobs and no jobs and everything else. You have stress-busting ideas in there, like what, for instance? Well, sometimes the simplest thing you can do, Harry, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're sitting here, we're on TV right now, and what could you do? You take a moment, a nice deep breath, whether you're at work, you're mm -hmm. at school, you're stressed about a big speech, a big exam. Right. Just take a moment for yourself. We all deserve a few moments in the day for ourselves. Right. So I practice just deep breathing. Yeah. Literally. I'll just yeah. stop. Count to 10 as you're letting your breath out and just close your eyes, even if it's just five quick deep breaths. A lot of hot air coming out. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes we just need to focus mm -hmm. on, on ourselves, even just taking that brief moment, because it helps us get perspective. Yeah. And there have been a lot of studies that show that we end up being more productive at work and 
mind-body connection, it's indisputable. People who have a good mind, they, they're healthier. We, we know this. There's no, there, it's not an accident. It's not. Right. Great to see you, man. The book is called The Doctor Is In, a seven-step prescription for optimal wellness. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.